welcome to LJP channel. So I know that from my last video, you guys might be wondering about what's happening with Dolly and so on. So I actually managed to receive an update and it's quite eye-opening actually. So let's go through the email, shall we? So here it goes. I'm going to let the computer read it out. Hi LJP Tech. Hello. Please see below our latest decision. Please note that on top of these, there will be software changes which will be explained and clarified in upcoming days. Nice. So, Hopefully you like update. the new Dolly version. Nice. Firstly, I would like to thank you all who participated in our survey and gave their opinion. We all know that those who actually participated on the Kickstarter campaign, um, but because it stopped, I think they sent out the survey notes, so they have actually gathered all those information. So I think they concluded some many things here. So let's go through that. Our main goal is to reach more audience and add more features with same the same look in a short period. That's good. We listened and tried to add all expectations while deciding on Creator's Edition. Okay. Today, I would like to introduce Dolly Creator Edition Roadmap. Right, okay. So, um, basically, it sounds like they're trying to meet up with most people's expectation, which will be quite a challenge. We all know they're saying that, you know, you, don't, you can't really meet everyone's need, but um, we'll find out more. So, what, let's see what they say. It is going to be still same Dolly with additional features, nice. except his backpack. Ah. We do not want to separate him from his backpack, but we need some space for all new upgrades. So that's a bit of a bad news if you're expecting the backpack feature, um, but to be able to achieve some additional features, they, I think they're, they're trying to sacrifice the backpack uh, function, but uh, I'm sure there's a good reason behind it because they need, to, they need space for it, that's what they say. Based on your requests, there will be software-related updates as well. Nice, of course. However, I want to mention about the major changes which will affect all potential backers. Right, so processor, processor upgrade. upgrade, okay. We are changing our processor, quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 SOMSOC, to Raspberry Pi CM4, quad-ARM Cortex-A72. This gives us lots of opportunities for today and future. That's nice. If you are familiar to Raspberry Pi, you already know that there is a huge community. Indeed. So basically, the standard or the default um, processor was Qualcomm ARM Cortex A53 SOM slash SOC, but they're now upgrading it to Raspberry Pi uh, CM4. I'm not really familiar with that CM4 term, but I'm sure it's a good spec, which is actually also called as quote, um, quad arm a cortex a72 okay so those who know all these words I, I guess it's a very welcoming news for you um, this type, type of, of network will help and unlock Dolly's chains nice the main Thank reason you. for the change is to make him hardware upgradable nice. so you could select upgrade your processing power depending your needs mm. therefore there will be pledges without a Raspberry Pi module to give you a chance to buy from your local supplier. Right, I see. Okay, I can hear I don't care about processing power or what it does. However, it will benefit Dolly. That means you will be able to get more amazing features abilities with software updates in the future. That's very good. So to summarize, they're actually going to upgrade to Raspberry Pi CM4, but it's also going to be very customizable, unlike other robots that we know of. You're don't need to be stuck with one um, main processor but you could actually play around with it upgrade and make it faster and so on so this is exactly like a desktop isn't it so a robot is now becoming more like a desktop you could customize it and that th i think that's going to be a very welcoming message for the robotic community that's very good actually well done for that i don't know how they're going to do it but there you know. is no way to design a forever living ai no well there are always bottlenecks, but I assure you that mentioned processor upgrade will extend Dolly's life. Indeed. 3D printable Dolly. Nice. So we're going to have 3D printable as well. Okay, so what's the 3D printable going to do for Dolly? I'm sure many Lots of, of people okay. want to print Dolly at home to have an opportunity to change his colors and many more. Nice. We listened to you and starting to work on a design for DIY Dolly. This option also gives us to develop a great community to achieve best design for future Dollies. That's, that's very good actually. So I don't have a 3D printer. I would like to get one soon, but I guess you could download all the software to get accessories for Dolly and it's more accessible and more fun. And also that, that will help to build communities. Some people might share that 3D uh, file so that the other person might be able to print it out. That's really clever actually. I have to say, well done for thinking that. 
And good luck with that. So 3D printable dolly. General purpose input output and communication ports. Nice. We know many of you want to add some custom features to dolly and know that you are good at making things. Okay. Now he will be ready to give you what you need. Okay. We will add GPIO pins and many communications ports. All Not right. Guaranteed, but I assume there will be I2C, UART and USB. We know you have great ideas for Dolly and now there is a chance to build it together. So basically Dolly is going to come with, um, okay, so GPIO pins and mini communication ports. So not guaranteed, but there will be I2C, UART and USB. I know USB, but I don't know the rest, but I guess those people who are into robotics will know exactly what this means. So there's going to be more sort of communications um, output sort of uh, purpose that's going to be implied to Dolly as well. So this becoming a very customizable robot, which is a very new thing, I would say, isn't it? Open source hardware. Well, we know the open source side. We will share our hardware design with you. Okay. So you do not need to use our software. Okay. Now you will be able to free to design your custom AI robot with our powerful hardware. Nice. There are many possibilities that you could use Dolly as a development platform in your research or study. You could even benefit from Dolly's advanced sensors and features. It is all up to your imagination. Wow, okay, so this is now becoming more and more transparent that it's going to be a, a very customizable robot. So it's going to have the open source hardware um, function as well. Powerful SDK. And the SDK, we heard as about we this one. Earlier. We will release our C++ SDK as early as possible. Okay. First, we will share our C++ SDK. Then we will release Python SDK. Wow. You will have an access to all hardware, including sensors, sensors and also sensors. software functions, animations, and many more. Nice. Lower price tag. Okay, so before we get into the lower price tag, this now has suddenly become a very customizable, very educational, programmable robot. So if you're into the C++ SDK, uh, then later you're going to get the Python SDK as well. I'm not really very familiar with this, but I heard about these things. So I know a lot of people ask for it and that's really good. So this is suddenly becoming a customizable robot that comes with a sensor with a default um, body that you could upgrade and then you could build community together by sending files, then 3D prints and so on. So this is a very new idea, isn't it, in some way? That's very interesting. So the lower price tag, I think that's gonna relate to the backpack side. So let's get on with this one. These changes force us to cancel lift mechanism. I see, okay. As you can guess, without a lift, Dolly cannot play grab with his backpack. Okay. So, we remove his backpack edition. I would like to know, okay, what, okay, so before we get into that, so to lower the price, they're going to get rid of the backpack. Um, but that was one of the things that really charmed me about it because that was a new thing. So how are they going to replace it with that? That's something I would like to see visually. I don't know whether they're going to present that visually, but... Um, Do not think that he cannot play games without a backpack. Okay, so he's going to play games. With the new version, you can define any object with printable tags as his lovely toy. Right, so it's a printable you know toys, toys will tags. Be static and working on alternative dynamic versions. Long story short, we added some features that are increasing cost of Dolly. But also, we removed some electronics reducing the cost. Right, okay. We believe we have a chance to reduce the price tag. Please understand that we will do our best to lower costs in light of the chip shortage issue. I see. Yeah, we all know that there's a light of chip shortage issue globally and so on. And that's why a lot of cars are more expensive when you actually bought it uh, secondhand. Um, that is what I'm talking about. But mainly, they're trying to price lower the, the whole thing um, by getting rid of the backpack. Um, I think the backpack seems to be very little function comparing to the vast other returns that you could get by getting rid of it. So um, that's the overall thing. So it's very interesting, isn't it? Um, it gives more idea of what Dolly is, the project Dolly is about. It's becoming more like an educational function, more customizable, more um, like individual sort of like um, appealing kind of design that you could get into and so on. So. Very interesting indeed. Um, I would like to see how this community builds up. But um, the reason I'm making this video, obviously, is that I asked for this information. I want you guys, my viewers who 
or after the updates on Dolly. If you watch this video, if you follow my channel, you'll be the first person to hear this because I got a direct contact with someone who's quite high up at Dolly. But anyhow, I hope this video shared a very good news for you. So please keep an eye on the Dolly project. Um, and we're very excited about this robot, aren't we? So look forward to see more updates. If I do get more, I'll let you know. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.